Well, <clears throat> there's a wonderful event coming up that you're gonna to wanna to take part in because it's gonna be great and because uh, it raises awareness and funds for a really important cause. It's the She's Listening Benefit Concert. And we're gonna be talking to the musicians who are gonna be performing there in just a moment at our part of a compilation CD. Elizabeth Ba is the CEO of Ovarian Cancer Canada and you're here to talk a little bit about ovarian cancer in general. That's right. And uh, the sorts of things we need to be thinking about. So let's talk um, uh, about ovarian cancer and how common it is these days. Fortunately, it's not very common. 2,600 women are diagnosed in Canada every year, which means that about 17,000 women are living with the disease at any time. Wow. And I say fortunately it's not common because it is the most serious women's cancer and has a very poor outcome. Well, because, because we don't catch it in time, that's right? That's right. There's no test and the symptoms are vague and they mimic the symptoms of many other more common conditions. But there is good news. Good. Yeah. What is the good news? Well, research has recently shown that the most serious form of ovarian cancer actually starts in the fallopian tubes, not the ovaries. And so any woman who's having gynecological surgery for any reason, benign, whatever, could have a conversation with her doctor about perhaps having those tubes removed. As well, people who are at higher risk because of a family history of breast or ovarian cancer, having a genetic predisposition, they can also take proactive action to reduce their risk of getting their disease. So for us, this is the best news that's come along in a long time. Because it tells you where to start looking. Exactly. Right, and where to start do, may, yeah. being effective. And I think with no test on the horizon, prevention is, is our best course of action. You said the signs and symptoms were kind of vague. What are yeah, we talking are. about? So uh, bloating. Uh, feeling full soon when you start eating, abdominal discomfort, urinary frequency, but again, these are the symptoms of many more common and not serious as serious illnesses. That's right, so you easily we, put that down to something else. Yeah, so the thing that we ask people to watch for is having that sustained over a two to three week period, and if it's new to you, then you want to be thinking about talking to your doctor about perhaps investigating further. We're going to be talking to uh, the artists in a moment about a benefit concert coming up, which helps raise money because the money helps to fund the research, which gives us this new information. Absolutely. And I would say that ovarian cancer has sadly been one of the most underfunded cancers. And we really are trying to, we're so close to answers. We're so close to being able to save lives. We really need people to help us get there. The website has lots of information so we can go to ovariancanada.org and look it all up, yes, right? Yes, and there's some information on risk. There's quizzes you can take. So uh, I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much for Thank the information. Thank you so much, Phil. I'm going to head over and talk to the artists who are going to be part of the event. And uh, that will be fun because it's coming up actually tomorrow, January the 8th, Thursday night. So let's chat with Kat and Heather. Kat Leonard, hello. Welcome hey, to Val. the show. Thanks for having so us. So you're here uh, as part of the, sh the She's Listening fundraiser. Correct. Are you two performing together? Hi, Heather. Yes, we are. Hi, Val. You guys are going to be performing there? Yes. And tell me about the CD that's happening as well. So the CD is a compilation of artists who've donated their songs, a lot of them written specifically for cancer and ovarian cancer. And uh, that's available to people to help raise funds as well. Nice. Yeah. And the people who are going to be joining you on stage, what are their names? Angela Saini, Christine St. Pierre, and Jessica Speziali. Right on. Heather, yeah. what are we going to be listening to today? What are you performing? Uh, Kat and I actually co-wrote this song called uh, Come By Here, and it's a, a song that means a great deal to Kat, and um, on this CD that we talked about, each of us have been touched by someone that we've lost to cancer, and in this particular song, um, Kat's got a series of people that she's um, thinking about in this song, and it's, it's really part of that uh, recovery process in ovarian cancer for people that have been, you know have had to deal with the loss. Can't wait to hear it. Thanks guys, so come by here. Thanks. I had an aunt with grace untold A hefty laugh, warm hand to hold You'd fall in love Dispelled the dark, she was gone before we knew it. 
Our tickets right away because you're almost yes, sold out, right? Yeah, it only holds 50 seats, so get there. There's really great food there as well, so you can reserve uh, your spot for like the best seat in the house to chomp. All right, tomorrow night, Thursday, 7 p.m., The Flying Beaver. Get your tickets at brownpapertickets.com. Yeah. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for joining Thank us today. You, Thanks, Heather. Thanks, Thank Pat. you so it's much. It's going to be a great uh, show, so make sure you check it out. We're going back to the kitchen and do more mustard cooking. Awesome. Beautiful stuff.